I mean, it's a bull belt's getting good. I mean, it's got to be fun to watch. I mean, to be in it, it's a little stressful, but for you guys, it has to be fun to watch. You know, I, that's what I said. I want to be a fan right now, but it's women's pole vault is, you know, taken to another level. And, you know, I'm glad that I'm a part of it, and I'm glad that I was able to come on top this time. Is this it for the indoor season? Oh, yeah. I'm done with indoor. No, no, yeah. Anywhere else. No, no more indoor. I think I've jumped every week. Like, you'll have to look up how many times I've jumped. But I've jumped a lot. And I think it helped, you know, because I was jumping 85s, 90s, I jumped 503, and I think it helped me build the confidence that I need going into the Olympic Will year. Will Rick give you a week off? Yeah, you know what, we might start outdoor early, and we might um, go a couple meets outdoor right away, one, two, three, and then call it a break. So. Did, you, did you consider a little bit jumping at 504? Or? Yes, I did. Was it, was it your decision, Rick's decision? Uh, you know, I wanted to, and then I'm like, man, I'm going to kick myself if I hurt my calf. You know, so it was one of those decisions that, you know, I really wanted to jump it, and especially in front of the crowd. You know, when right. you get a crowd like this on U.S. soil, and I wanted to give them something up there, but, you know, just hindsight, Olympic year, I thought, you know what, I better just right. call it call it right. a season. Right. Are you glad that you were debating whether you could even do Oh, man, I was, yeah, I probably, I mean, we booked our plane ticket last minute to come out here for nationals, and as you saw, the U.S. Nationals was, I mean, it's hard to qualify. It's not, you can't take anything for granted. And then to come out here and win Worlds, to think that I wasn't going to do this, I'm like, wow, I mean, man, I'm glad that I chose to. You were, you were thinking about doing it because of the calf, or just because no, it was a long because season? It, it, was, it was too close. I was afraid of competing Saturday and then turning around and competing Sunday, or Thursday, you know, because I knew that the competition was going to be stressful. I know it's Olympic year, and I don't want that pressure right. all on me right now. Right. But you know what? The way that they had this venue, it helped a lot. It, it helped with the lift your spirits up. So. What made you make the choice to go to Worlds after all, and how did you end up making it? I probably made that um, probably when I declared for U.S. Nationals. You know, they put the declaration in, you have to put your entry, and I declared, so I don't know what day that was. But then it was official, and I got on the plane, and I'm like, man, we're doing this. But after USA, you didn't kind of waver and think? Oh, no. Once I qualified, I knew I was coming in the world's heart. Yeah. Thank yeah. you very yeah. much. Yeah. Appreciate it. And do you have any more that you have like you want to do in, in real? You know, probably going into outdoors, I'm probably going to keep it a little more simpler. Um, indoors, I jumped a lot. I think I jumped every weekend. We were getting the car, we were driving six hours, getting out, jumping. You know, it's something that I wanted to attack hard. I had two years where, man, I was so de I was depressed with my jumping. I mean, it was just a disaster. So, you know, this indoor. I wanted to come out and be like, you know what, I don't suck that bad, I promise. So, you know, I wanted to come out hard. <laughs>